how to create a drop down menu in Canva website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a drop down menu within a Canva website. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over canva.com. Then you need to sign in into an account. After that, you are going to select the website or create the website that you want to apply this method for. So I'm going to type on the search bar only website, website like that. Click on enter. Then you will see the different website that you have created. Or you can see here the templates that are available for the website uses. So for example, I am going to search for the free ones. That means that I will not use the ones that has a crown on them. So maybe this one. So I will go ahead and click on this. So we are going to click on customize this template. Here we have the website uh, label with the perfect or uh, right there uh, dimension. Click on customize this template. Then we are going to see here the first page. So. Let's go ahead right there and create a lot of pages for this specific website. I'm going to create one, two, three pages. So we are going to add something to this specific uh, website. So we are going to uh, let a uh, drop down or a scroll down menu. You cannot make a drop down menu right there from uh, for example, a text right there when you click on it and it will drop down a menu. Canva is not that interactive if you want to know uh, because it is not built to create a um, specific functionalities and also features for uh, websites because it is uh, usually made to create, for example, presentations and uh, product pages websites. So it is much simpler for use than a, for example, Shopify, or you can use a uh, WordPress or WooCommerce and etc. So right there, we are going to add some elements or some pages to the second, third and fourth page. And the last page, we are going to make it a, uh, a different page. So we are going to make it right there a, um, a menu page, for example. Then we are going to add to it. Let's go ahead and add a element. And that element is going to be a photo, for example. That I'm going to add this photo, make it a little bit vertical and boom. So right there, we are going to add, for example, a text box or a shape and make it as a text box. I'm going to set it white. So maybe like that, or we can go ahead and set it a little bit clearer like that to match something on the specific case. So we are going to make it like that. Then you can go ahead and add some text right there. And uh, here uh, it is very essential to add a heading because it needs to be bold and also very obvious to see. So for example, here menu, I'm going to type menu. Then we are going to set the color of it as white because the white right there will be uh, showing. So we are going to set here menu at the middle. Boom. Now we are going to set up uh, the headings right away. So we are going to make right there some pages names. So we are going to set, for example, here a heading. Now another heading. So like that. So what? pages do we have what one two three four so we are going to set one two three four the first one is going to be home second one we are going to set it for example uh, bio let's go ahead and set it as bio for example uh, bio like that then the third one portfolio and blog i'm going to just going to set for Folio, and the fourth one is going to be blog. So right here we are going to design the uh, pages. Here we are going to name the pages. Here we have it. The first one is going to be right there. Click on notes. 
here we have the landing page we are going to change the name of it to something like home the second page is going to be bio i think portfolio and blog here we have uh, bio here we have portfolio third page is going to be portfolio and the fourth one is, is going to be blog blog like that simply so then we have the third everything is in order this is the first one here we have the bio didn't register here we have portfolio i don't know what why it didn't uh, follow up here we have the block and okay we're good so now we are going to uh, put some components to the pages here we have the uh, bio so we are going to set uh, for example uh, we are going to set text then we are going to see here some graphics and see if we can add something here we have uh, this i'm going to just make this so we are going to get some um, plans right there we have a bio we can add uh, for example a uh, like something like that here we have it so make sure to make it like this this is the bio i'm going to add a text like here i'm going to name it bio so we are going to set it like this now we can add a text box put it right here in the middle make it like that this is just a presentation now we are on the portfolio for example now i'm going to click on elements then we are going to set photos photos photo here we are going to see some photos go ahead and add some photos like this now we are going to add this photo also i'm going to make it uh, the same size as the first one so we are not going to take a lot from uh, right there go ahead and put it like this let the bezels appear a little bit so we are going to sit on the aesthetic side for example this i'm going to put it like that make it smaller wider and for this one the same thing we are going to make it smaller and wider like that boom here we have it this is the portfolio so we are going to set a text and make it uh, appearing like portfolio folio like that and then we are going to set it from there put it right there at the header and boom now let's go to the uh, fourth page which is the blog so we are going to create maybe a photo uh, right there we are going to set some elements for example here we are going to set uh, the uh, blog here we are going to make it a little bit uh, bigger then we are going to add a frame uh, i'm going to add a shape like that so this shape is going to uh, accompany right there the photo so we are going to set a color of it to something more um attracting so we are going to set or add a text or a heading first then we are going to set uh let's say how to make pasta then we are going to make it right there put it as a title and then we are going to duplicate this and don't forget to set the name of the page as right here put it as blog now we are going to set something like here we are going to add a text box add it right there here we are going to set for example pasta 200 grams of uh, tomatoes uh, for example you can tomatoes you can go ahead and set for example meat balls meat balls then we are going to set uh, for example whatever you want you can go ahead and add these so we are going to set them right away 
so here we are going to set them like that go ahead and set those like this and boom so here we have it now what we need to do is to link uh the pages i'm going to set here home or we are going to set for example okay, in the place of that we're going to set it like this boom home bio we're going to set it like that this is the first menu or the menu so we are going to add an element right there and then we can link it for example we are going to set uh, let's say here menu we are going to see here menu then we can add something like uh, right there we can go ahead and add it so i'm going to create something unique so we are going to set menu then we are going to set here the three dots uh so like that go ahead and make it like this and i'm going to set it like that so menu maybe like that or make it like something else so we are going to set menu or like that so here we have the menu so we are going to link it to the last page which is click on link then we are going to let it as the entitled one so when you click on it it will drop down right there to the specific page so what we need to do right there is to click on home here we have the page click on the three dots link linkage with the first page the second one bio link put it also with bio okay third one i'm going to click on three dots link put it with bio or portfolio here we have the fourth one which is blog we're going to link it to the blog so this is not what i wanted to do but okay so right there we are going to uh, remove the underlined and boom so we can go ahead and select all of these make them to maybe like that so we are going to make them like this and boom so we are going to publish the website then we need to set up a website you can go ahead and publish this specific website and boom here we have it but also you can go ahead and click on, on preview so you will see here the menu the home and everything so how can we check the drop down menu we are going to click on the distinguished uh, right there uh, menu you click on it and it will drop you down and show you the menu and the menu you can go ahead and uh, go to the specific pages mentioned for example bio it will take you to the bio here we have also portfolio it will take you to the portfolio so the last one is the blog obviously it will take you to the blog and here we have it also for the mobile version it is the same it will take you right here to the menu and boom that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one